Hi, and welcome to part two of PractiTest test automation tutorial video using Firecracker example. We created an example script for Jenkins. We start with installing the plugins we need for the process. Inside Jenkins, we go to Manage Jenkins, Manage Plugins, Subtab Available. For this example, we will need to have Git and JUnit plugins installed in Jenkins. In order to make sure the script will continue to update PractiTest via Firecracker, we will use the pipeline plugin for Jenkins that makes sure Jenkins continues to update PractiTest even when a test fails. We are also using the Build with Parameters and Parameterized Trigger plugins for Jenkins to allow multiple projects in Jenkins to activate the pipeline that updates PractiTest. After searching and ticking for all these plugins, press Install. The minimum requirement for this example is Jenkins version 2.13. Now let's start with the actual example. In Jenkins, we press create a new item, choose pipeline, and we name our pipeline. We copy the example script that can be found in the help page and paste inside our new pipeline under script field. We can leave the default values empty for now as we are going to populate them as parameters later. We press save. In order to configure the parameters in the script, we will press build now although we will get an error for empty values. Since we want multiple projects in Jenkins to update PractiTest, we will go to one of the projects we want to build and enable the pipeline by pressing Configure. We scroll to Post Build Actions. On the bottom left side, we press the arrow next to the Add Post Build Action button and choose Trigger Parameterized Build on Other Projects. For the Projects to Build field, we use the name of the pipeline project we created. For the Trigger when Build is field, we will choose Complete, always Trigger, but this can, be, can change according to the process. Now we press the arrow of Add Parameters and choose Predefined Parameters. A predefined parameter window will open. Inside this window, we define parameters using the text box that can be found in the Help page. We will add the relevant values as follows. We start by giving the test set a name. If we use an existing name, the Firecracker will sync to it and create a new run in this test set. If we give the test set a new name, the Firecracker will create a new test set in PractiTest. The project name is the name of the Jenkins project we are currently in and want to run. In this case, we are running a project named Jenkins Project 1. For relative test location, we insert the location of the test report XMLs. This can be found under the Post Build Actions, Publish JUnit Test Results Report. The JAR version is the version of the JAR file we downloaded from the help page. You can find it in PractiTest GitHub. The link is in the help page as well. For author ID, we fill in the user ID of the person running the Firecracker. API URI for the US users is api.practitest.com and for the EU users eu1-prod-api.practitest.app For config file, we paste the content of the JSON config file downloaded from the Firecracker. Please note that the run build should be on false, otherwise the pipeline will build the project again and again in a loop. After all is modified, we press save. From now on, each time this project will build, it will automatically update Pipeline, which will update Firecracker and will send the built results into PractiTest automatically. 